Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your bro here. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how we can open a new window using Java Swing. So let's get into it. Before you reach the end of this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that we together can challenge and defeat the mighty YouTube algorithm. All right, everyone. So we're going to create a new project. So if you're using Eclipse, go to File, New, Java Project. And I'll call this project how to open a new window. I know I'm really creative like that. And then click finish and we're not going to create a module for this. Now we're going to go to our project, locate the source folder, and we're going to create three files. So file, new, class. I'll call the first one main and it's going to hold our main method. So you'll want to be sure to click this checkbox here, click finish. Let's go back to our source folder, file, new, class, and let's call this second file launch page. It's going to launch a new window when we click on a button and then click finish. And then back to the source folder, file, new, whoops, file, new, class, and we'll call this new window. This is the window we're trying to open. So new window and then click finish. All right, now within your main class, this is what we're gonna type. We're going to create an instance of our launch page. So we're going to type in the name of the class, launch page, and we'll call this launch page with a lowercase l equals new launch page. And that's it for our main method. In fact, our entire main class here. So we're going to do some things on our launch page here. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to create our constructor. We'll call this launch page so it matches the class name. And then we're going to declare two objects within our class, but before the constructor, a JFrame frame equals new JFrame. And I'm thinking what we can do for this project is that this page will only contain a button and when we click on the button, it'll bring us to a new page. So we'll do something simple like that. Then I'm just going to import these things. So Java X dot swing. And then let's create a J button to put on this frame. So J button, and we'll call this my button equals new J button. And we can set some text on this button right away. We'll just type in new window. And then we'll need to import this. Okay, let's go to our constructor and add a few things. So let's create the frame first. So frame dot set default close operation. And then within the parentheses, j frame dot exit on close. So this will actually stop when we exit out of it. And then we'll need to set a size for this frame. So frame dot set size. I usually pick 420 by 420 and then we need to set a layout frame dot set layout and then I usually type in null because I like to manually place everything and then we need to set the visibility to true so frame dot set visible true okay let's create our button and add it to our frame so we'll do that before our frame within our constructor so that is called my button. That's the name of our button. My button dot set bounds. And we'll place this where X is 100. And then maybe where Y is 160. This will be 200 pixels long and 40 pixels for the height. Then this is normally focusable. So we want to set focusable to false. It's not entirely necessary, but sometimes buttons are highlighted and it's kind of annoying. And then we need to add an action listener. So my button dot add action listener. And then within parentheses, uh, parentheses, just type in this. Now we'll need this class to implement the action listener interface. So right next to your class name, type in implements action listener and we'll probably need an import 
Okay, so we'll need this import as well, and we need to add unimplemented methods. So this is going to be our action performed method when we click on the button, but first we should make sure that everything is here. So let's see if our button is actually on the panel. Oh, nope, not yet, because we need to add the button to the frame because I forgot. So frame dot add my button. Honestly, that's very easy to do, to forget to add something to your frame. Okay, it should be there now. Yeah, we're good. So it currently doesn't do anything. So what we should do is that we're going to create a new instance of our new window class whenever we click on this button. So go to your action performed method. And this is where we're going to type if e.get source parentheses is equal to my button we're going to trigger an event. So what we'll do is create a new instance of our new window class. So new window, and we'll call this maybe my window equals new, new window. That's kind of a tongue twister. Maybe I should have named it something different, but hey, it works. Okay, so then when we click on this, it's going to launch an instance of our new window class, but we actually have to work on that class now because it doesn't appear to do anything. So that's pretty much everything for our launch page. There's one more line that we're going to add uh, near the end of this, so we'll be heading back here later. So let's go to our new window class then. So what we're gonna do here is create a constructor first. So new window, parentheses, curly braces, and outside of our constructor, we're going to create a J frame so we can actually see what's going on. So J frame, and we'll call this frame equals new J frame parentheses semicolon. And let's create a label that'll just say hello so we can see something. So we'll create a J label and we'll call this label equals new J label. And let's set some text such as hello. Then we're going to do a few things within our constructor, but we need to import a few things. All right, so within our constructor, we're going to create a frame. And honestly, we can just copy this from our launch page. So frame.set default close operation. We need to set the size, a layout, and the visibility. And I'm just going to copy all this because I'm lazy and paste it right in here near the end. Let's work on our label. So label dot set bounds. We'll place this where X is zero, where Y is zero. This will be 100 pixels long and a height of 50 pixels. And let's also set the font just because it's normally like very small. So label dot set font, new font parentheses. So we don't really care for a font type, but if you want a specific font, you can place that here. I'll just set it to the default and put null here. We'll have this be plain, so font.plain, and a size of 25. And we need to import something as well. There we go. And we need to add the label to the frame. So I'll do that here. Frame.add label. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, let's click on the new window button to launch a new window. All right, we got one. One problem though, if we uh, keep on clicking on this button, we'll keep on getting new windows. So we have like a bunch here. So if you only want there to be one window, this is what you can do. So going back to our launch page. So the first line within our action performed method within our if statement, this is what we're gonna type. Frame dot dispose, parentheses, semicolon. So it's going to basically close out of our frame. So now if we were to run this and we click on the new window button, it's going to get rid of the launch page and open a new window. So to sum up everything, if you want to open a new window, you'll want to create an instance of the class that contains the window that you want to appear. And then you'll want to hook this up to like some sort of event to trigger it. And in my case, it's a button. So when we click the button here, it's going to perform the action performed method and then create a instance of our new window class then. So there's other ways that you can instantiate a new window of this class or whatever else you want to name this. 
but you usually need some way to actually trigger this being instantiated. But for this example, we just have this hooked up to a button. But yeah, that's the basics of opening a new window in Java. If you want a copy of all this code, I'll post it in the comments down below. And that's one of a few ways to open a new window in Java. Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learn something new, then you can help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.